Notion just dropped 3.0, and I'm not exaggerating when I say that people are calling it a second brain and absolutely game-changing. With brand new AI agents that plan, write, and organize your entire workflow for you, this is the potential to change the way that you work forever. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you 13 mind-blowing business use cases of Notion 3.0. But the first use case, we're gonna create a database just by telling the AI and Notion here. So I'm gonna start by clicking on the Notion AI link here in the upper left-hand corner corner and you're going to see a screen like this. You can add context. That is not new. You can just do the at symbol and then you can reference different pages and databases. You can attach things. Obviously you have deep research. You can also click on sources. So you can choose the sources that you want to include when it is searching or referencing different things. So you can turn on web search apps and integrations. You can uh, customize all the apps and integrations that you have. And then you can click on connect apps here. You can see you have access to all these apps, for example, right here. And then what I love about this is you literally could, if you want to cancel your Claude and ChatGPT and frankly, your Gemini accounts and just run your AI models right out of uh, Notion here. All right, so with that, we're gonna create a database. And I'm gonna say, I want you to create a database that is a content calendar and includes YouTube videos and an email newsletter. So as it's putting it together, it's telling you what it's doing. And now it's going to give me the plan. So I had separate data sources within my notion, one for YouTube, one for the newsletter. And what it did, it took information from those two places all by itself. And I can say, uh, give me the link to the, all right, it's just giving me a link to the content calendar. So let's click on it. Here it is here, YouTube table, newsletter table, YouTube by status. So what it's done here is it's taken from different areas in my notion, brought it all together here in this one content calendar all by itself. Even if you don't have these things in your notion already, like I do, it would create this for you regardless. It just brought in the information for me. So then I could use this AI here. You can see the bottom right hand corner, this little person here. So you just click on that. I can make edits to it, whatever I wanted to do. I can just using natural language, just tell it what I want it to change and it will do it. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Rick Mulready. And for the past 11 and a half years, I've run a multi seven figure online business, helping other online businesses grow and scale their business more efficiently. Today, I run an online community called the AI Playbook, which is for online entrepreneurs looking to leverage AI so that you can streamline your business, make it more efficient and increase profit in the process. I'll link to it in the description below. For use case number two, what really separates Notion 3.0 apart from the previous versions of AI in there is the ability to personalize your AI in Notion here. So all you have to do is basically click on the little icon here and say personalize. You can name your AI and then you can click on edit instructions. So this is like you're giving the Notion AI custom instructions, just like you could in ChatGPT or Claude, for example. But for me, the way that you can integrate these instructions into the entire Notion AI ecosystem, if you will, I think it's a lot stronger than what you can do in other platforms. So Notion gives you a page like this, it's called My Notion AI, and then you can give it an identity, chat interaction, so, and memories. But for me, I wanted to customize this way more. And so this is what I did with mine. So if I click on edit instructions, and mad props, by the way, I did not put this together. I've personalized it for me and my business. And I got these system instructions originally from Simon over at Better Create. He's got amazing, YouTube channel here. But basically, these are my custom instructions, if you will. And so I can connect to all kinds of databases. This is where I give it, uh, I, I can tell it how I want it to remember things. So you can create a virtual sort of memory here within Notion. So these master system instructions shape how the AI interacts with you and how you interact with the AI. It makes it so much more powerful than this document right here that you can just fill in that Notion already has for you. So I highly recommend that you have a master set of system instructions that are personalized to you and your business and exactly how you want it to know you and how you want it to interact with you. All right, now that we have everything personalized for the next use case is we're going to take meeting notes that Notion took from Notion's meeting note taker, which is built in, which is amazing. It's not new. Uh, we're gonna take the meeting notes and we're gonna create a plan, an action plan. So let's tell the AI, give me a list of action items from this meeting and create a brief with owners and dates, okay? 
Also, as you can see here, it's the context is these notes here. All right, and it's just completed this action for me. Give me the link to the task database so I can check it out. Okay, so now I can go click on that database here. So right here where it says up next, so it added these things. It gives me due dates, gives, gives me the projects, puts notes here. All I had to do was just tell it what I wanted to do. I didn't have to go in and physically put these in. The AI saved me a ton of time. Okay, for this next use case, we want the AI to create us a competitor analysis report. And I wanted to research the top five AI education and training brands, courses, memberships, coaching programs, serving online entrepreneurs. I also wanted to build a database with all of the results. So as you can see here, pricing models, core messaging, identify market trends, gaps. So we're really asking it to do truly agentic work here, all within Notion. You can see that there are 286 results that it is gone out to find, but you can see here, it's giving me key strategic insights for the AI playbook, which is the community that I run. But remember, I also asked it to create a database with all the pricing information and the breakdown of target audience and messaging and so forth, as you can see here. AI education competitors analysis created this for me so that I can go through and break each one of these things down. And it also created this amazing executive summary of the report and the research that it just did. So now it becomes part of the overall master system instructions and you can keep building on this as you use Notion AI. And I love that about 3.0. For this next use case, I want the AI to better organize this page here. So this page is a system knowledge page, as you can see, and it has a whole bunch of different pages with various amounts of information and different information about me and the business and writing guidelines and so forth. And so I'm going to pull up the AI and I'm going to paste in this simple prompt, turn these pages into an inline database that organizes them in a way that makes best sense. Ask me any questions if you wanna clarify anything before proceeding to build the database. So you'll notice here it's saying, before I can do this, let me take a quick look at a few of those pages to understand their content type so it can design the best database structure for me. All right, so it's created the database now and it looks super organized. Again, if you remember, I did ask it to create an inline database and in Notion speak, that just simply means I want a database on this page. I don't want a separate database page. So let's just see that if it can create an inline version of that database. I'm gonna ask it, I actually wanted you to create an inline version of that database on this page here. Can you do that? And in a matter of seconds, it's created my inline database now. So I don't have the separate page with the database. It's now on this same page, which I like even better. Again, all I did was ask it to do this change and it did it in a matter of seconds. And by the way, as you might expect, you do need to subscribe to Notion in order to have access to the personalized AI agents and all the things that we're talking about here today. I recommend the, the business plan simply because at the plus plan, you only get a trial of Notion AI, whereas it's $20 per member per month at the business level, or if you pay monthly, it's 24, yeah, $24. And you get access to all of the agent AI capabilities that we're talking about here today. For the next use case, I want to use Notion 3.0 here to have the AI build me an onboarding guide for our new executive assistant, Ara, who is joining as a VA. And I'm, I'm saying include a database of people to meet, a checklist of tools to get set up with, and links to important team pages. Okay, and here's the onboarding plan that the AI just came up with. Notice that I didn't give it any specific instructions into what pages or specific people to include. This is all information from within my Notion here. So it's giving me a team directory for our uh, tools and system setup checklist, first week action items, who to contact. I mean, that was super cool. For this next use case, I wanna use Notion, Notion AI to analyze all of my team meeting notes that we do in the business every single week. And I wanted to create a roadmap database from all the notes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this prompt in here, turn these meeting notes from our weekly team calls into a roadmap database, group similar ideas and prioritize by importance. Exactly what I just said. All right, and it's now created the team roadmap database. So let's click on it and take a look. All right, so <laughs> really good job with this. Uh, so it has the initiative, the category, dependencies, description. I It would have taken me forever. I actually probably wouldn't have known how to even build this out here in Notion. A matter of a couple minutes for the AI to do this. And it just read all of the meeting notes and created this amazing database. So I could turn this into, well, we have a calendar here now because it created views for me. So by status, by priority, high priority, by calendar. I love it. All right, for this next use case, let's use Notion AI to help us create 
potentially a, a future YouTube video. Maybe it's about future of AI SEO. So AEO, answer engine optimization and GEO, generative engine optimization. Let's ask it to do some research on those types of things. I want you to do research around AEO and GEO as it pertains to AI SEO. I want you to thoroughly research the topic and then I want you to create an outline from that research information for a YouTube video. And then from that outline, create me a full YouTube video script for that video. And we press go and let's see what it comes up with. Again, this is truly agentic here because it's going to do the research. It's gonna put together, hopefully, an outline for me for the YouTube video. So here is the video outline. And and by the way, it's referencing the type of format that I like to do for a YouTube video outline because I've included it in the master system instructions that I talked about earlier. So here is the video outline. And then down here, here's the full YouTube video script. I actually don't script my, my videos outside of just bullet points and so forth. This would have taken me multiple tools, number one, to do this kind of research. You know, could I have done this in say, Claude Projects? Yeah, I, I could have done that. But if I'm working, I'm doing all of this in one tool, why would I need to go outside of Notion when I can do all of this right here? Okay, for the next use case, let's use Notion AI to have it summarize my notes and tasks from this week. And I want it to give me wins, I wanted to let me know, is there anything blocking progress moving forward? And also I want to create tasks for next week as it deems necessary. So again, a very broad question and prompt to give it and let's see what it comes up with. All right, and it's giving me a really thorough output here and I wanna kind of break down a little bit about what it did. So based on my master system instructions and how I want it to you know, interact with different information and different questions, you're gonna see that right here. So from a productivity standpoint, it's giving me this week's key activities, content production breaks it down by a different area of the business, wins, progress blockers, and then it gave me next week's focus area. So let's take a look at the tasks. So here we go. As you can see, it added the due dates for October 1st through the 3rd. Next week, I'm happy to be traveling. So it took all that into account. But overall, I love everything that it's just given me here. And, and again, this just shows the importance of having really detailed overarching system instructions that the Notion AI can operate within. It's just going to just give you such better output and make it way more helpful for you. All right, for the next use case, I wanna use Notion AI to analyze survey results. So here are the survey results over in Google Sheets. This is from my AI Playbook community. And so I wanna leverage AI to analyze them and you know create a project plan basically. All right, so I'm just gonna type in here, please analyze these survey results for insights and create a project plan for me based on how I can improve the AI Playbook community. I'm gonna click the at symbol and a reference that specific Google sheet right here because I have Notion connected to my Google Drive and click go and let's see what it comes up with. Okay, and here are the key insights in the survey analysis. So I wanted to create a full project plan with due dates. Okay, so it created a full breakdown of the project plan for me here and it added it to my tasks database. So you can see over here, if I scroll down, it's broken all down by the AI Playbook Community Optimization Project. And it added all these tasks here. And then what I also asked to do is to actually create a project page for these results, which it did uh, down here. So I can go click on this. And here is the project overview with the goals and the timeline. I can ask it to assign specific people on my team, for example, to help with different areas. I can just, everything's hands off in terms of me having to go in there and do it manually, I can just ask the AI to do it. For use case number 12, I wanna use Notion AI to critique the landing page copy, the sales page copy for my AI playbook community over on school. So this copy here, so I've taken a screenshot of this and I've just said, critique this sales page copy and suggest improvements for increasing the sales conversion rate from 2.8 to 6%. When people sign up, they get a seven day um, free trial. So I have, again, I pasted in the image of that page. Okay. And in a matter of say 20 seconds, it's giving me this action plan, giving me suggestions for rewrites for new hook, strategic recommendations for a 6% conversion. Love it. And also give me AB testing priorities. I love it. So just think about how you could use this for to analyze your email copy or your email sequences where you're giving it 
open rates and click rates of your emails. Again, like sales page copy, like you've just like I've just done here. There's a whole bunch of different ways that you can leverage this and ask it to analyze, and then also give you. Uh, constructive feedback for things to improve. For use case number 13, I want to use Notions AI to analyze a PDF. I've just uploaded OpenAI's research paper on why language models hallucinate. So I wanted to basically pull out the most important things that I need to know about and create me a table. All right, so I'm gonna type in here, give me the key findings from this research paper that's attached and give me those findings in a table making it easily searchable. All right, and here are the results. So it's giving me key finding summary in a table. So now it's asking me if I wanted to create a da database storage of this analysis, I'm gonna say sure. And then this is how it responded. So what I love about this is where it says, extract the five actionable implications as tasks in your task database. So not only is it analyzing it, but it's also pulling out what I need to know about it, putting it in table format so it's easy to read. And then it's saying, hey, I can store all these results for you so that you can reference them next time. And it will use it within the broader scope of how the AI responds to me in the future. I just love it. I mean, it makes it so easy to do. So there you have it, 13 mind-blowing use cases of Notion 3.0. As you can see here, I am pretty giddy about what Notion has come out with. What they're coming out with next is gonna be multiple agents basically GPTs within Notion, which is gonna change the game again. Again, if you are an online business owner and you're looking to leverage AI in your business to streamline your business, become more efficient and increase profit in the process, I wanna invite you to join us inside my AI playbook community. You can sign up for a free seven day trial. I'll link to it in the description below. As always, thanks so much for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.